I shouldn't have done it. I knew it was wrong. When the muck left my hand, it was folly and cruelty, and I wish I hadn't. I was off to buy fish, and my stepmother said, take the twins. Why, said I, both of them? Bad enough with one. They're strong now, leaning their weight against my hand, dragging me in circles. I can only carry one. The other hauls me. How should I manage the shopping? Just take them, she said, and burst into tears. I want them out of the house. Just take them. Do you hear me? There will be more come Christmas, six months, she said. And the tears rained down her face. Another babe come Christmas. I stood there with my jaw almost touching my knees. More babies? There's the twins up and running. They don't sleep at night. They still puke out most of what you scoop into them. They shriek like hawks all day long. The cottage stinks of a midden. Babies mess everywhere. More babies? I wanted to scold, but my stepmother sank down in the rushes and wailed like a babe herself. It's worse for her than it is for me. Birthing the twins nearly killed her. So I took up my basket and snatched up the twins, one held by hand, the other on my hip, and we set off for the market. It wasn't easy. The twins on the ground grabbed the fish from my basket and threw it. It landed in the water trough, and I had to wade through the mud to get it back. The twin on my hip seemed quiet enough till he started to bellow. I smelled something rank and I felt it leaking down my dress. I couldn't staunch him. My hands were full. That's when I saw her, Isabel, the Lord's daughter, dressed in blue. Her hair combed, sleek as an otter. Her veil was snow white. She had a servant to carry her basket, so her hands were free to pinch up her skirt and pick her way through the muck, daintily, daintily. Her lips were curved like the smile of a cat, and something got into me. Maybe it was the devil. I let go of the twin, picked up a handful of dung, filth, God knows what, and let it fly bullseye. But I didn't enjoy it. Not for more than a moment. Not after I saw her face. She hadn't done anything to me. And the smutch of the mud against her blue gown, the prettiest dress I ever saw, I ruined it. The boys in Shamble Lane laughed. They won't tell on me. They're my friends. I saw her eyes pass over me and rest on them. She thought they did it. I ought to have said something. I'm sorry. T'was my doing. But my little brother picked up something foul and mashed it in his mouth. By the time I got to him, pride opened his jaws, fished it out, and bellowed, No! She'd plucked up her skirts to go. Her back was straight as a knife. Her head held proud. Poor girl. I was sorry, almost to weeping. On the way home, I went to church. I dragged the twins before the crucifix and knelt down, trying to pray and keep hold at the same time. It wasn't easy. I prayed that God would forgive me, that the muck would come out of her dress, 
that my stepmother wouldn't die. It made me think how all women are the same, silk or sackcloth, all the same. There's always babies to be born and suckled and wiped and worried over. Isabel, the Lord's daughter, will have to be married and squat in the straw and scream in pain and pray for her life, same as me. And thinking of that, I added one more prayer. Sweet Jesus, come Christmas, don't let it be twins. <laughs>